up, everybody? Kind of stank is back at you again today. Today, I want to take a look at the Wave 6 Werewolf. Uh, that's right, Wave 6. Uh, there's been already a couple of uh, werewolves prior to this one. They all are very, very cool. And we'll do a little comparison here in just a second. But this one's a little more special to me because of one value that was added to it, uh, thanks to Migo so cool and they know everything about the 70s right because uh, they lived it they were the biggest toy company in the world back in the 70s and um it's just they they, they knocked out of the park with this figure and definitely think they started something new uh with figures you can say new it can't be new when you see what this is but well, we'll do some comparisons some old stuff that has the same value but uh in this day and age i think it's going to be a new thing uh, for, for people to uh, love and enjoy that you can do with an action figure let's take a look at a few links i want to share with you okay Go to the Mego Museum if you want to see all the original vintage Mego toys that came out back in the 70s and the early 80s. A lot of great stuff on there. A lot of hard work went into this page, by the way. There's a million things on here to look at and find. Uh, you got to love it. If you have not been to the Mego Museum, add it to your favorites bar and check it out every day. You will get lost and have lots of fun. And speaking of that, also, the link to Platt Stallions is down below. Check out Platt Stallions for all the other weird and strange toys that came out through the 70s and 80s. A lot of good stuff there. And don't forget to also click on the last link down below, which is for the Migo Ambassadors Facebook page. Become a Migo Ambassador today. Support Migo. Meet with all these people on there. To talk about Migo. Look at all the new stuff that's coming out. And, you know, find other people that can help you find your Migo figures. But the biggest thing is support Migo and tell your friends. Do it now. So here is the new exclusively Mego werewolf figure that says 8 inch action figure, 14 points of articulation. And these figures will soon to be 20 points with their brand new bodies they have coming out. That's right folks, if you don't know about that, it's coming here very, very soon. Not too long from now. This is from their horror line, as you can see up here in the corner. Uh, this figure again has one aspect of it that I love just so much. But just to go over this figure itself real quick with the card, it does have a different card from the past two. Uh, it's a good purplish colored card down here with a really neat werewolf howling or barking at the moon, as Ozzy Osbourne had said back in the 80s, but too cool. This one here is number 2342 of what? 8 billion maybe they made of these? We don't really know. And the back of this card definitely veers away from what we've been seeing from Migo. There's some artwork, but very nice and plain, but to the point, it looks like some gleaming eyes of a werewolf maybe out from between some trees way out there gonna bounce on its prey and down here what looks like to be a road but where road to where road to hell i, I don't know again it says eight inch action figure 14 points articulation officially and official edition action figure with original detail and quality and yet again down here has the same usual information about our, our god and savior marty abrams there he is the man himself and special thanks who's involved in this figure is uh our consultant as Mr. Dr. Migo. If my camera would be nice today, that'd be really cool. So we have the consultant is Dr. Migo, uh, sculptor Sean Sampson, and seamstress Rachel Baker. We all know them. Good stuff. And then down here we have the information about the license for Migo and all that good stuff. And I don't see on here any questions about the uh, werewolf, any generic questions. Obviously it's not from a movie. This is just a generic werewolf that Migo came up with, which is just so cool. I'm glad they're doing generic stuff. So I guess you wouldn't expect to see uh, uh, any questions about it on here. Let's get a closer look at the front of this card though. And here's our werewolf. As you can see, a special part of him is that he's got fuzz all over his face and his arms and his entire body actually. The whole body has been what they call flocked. That's right. He's got hair. It's not molded on. He is flocked. He's got yellow eyes and his teeth have been painted white this time. It looks really cool. That's how your werewolf is supposed to be, folks, like that. So nice. And he's got a cool blue shirt on and his green pants all torn up because he, uh, you know, went from being a human being and turned into a werewolf. There's his hands. It's all the same body as, as before. And like I said, those are flacked. They have hair on them. There you go. There's your sticker number 2342. And also down there, it says flacked feet. That's right. They've got their, their hair. At some point this guy's gonna need a shave, man. Not bad though. This is so cool that Migo did this. I love it so much. So going back to the good old 70s, here's a picture of the 1970s G.I. Joe. Those figures back then had flocked hair and beards too. Not bad at all. Then if we jump to the 80s, you had uh, Moss Man, who was a cool figure from back in the old day that had uh, had uh, flocked hair on him. And then after that, I don't think there was any more flocked figures. Not that I recall, maybe some of you guys know. You can always leave your your uh, answers to that 
question or mystery down in the comments below. Just a little comparison of this figure with some other Mego werewolves. Now we have all three figures that Mego has done since last year uh, as far as the werewolf figures go. First starting with the target carded one over here next to the uh, one here in the blue shirt, which is the same as this over here. Looks like the clothes on both these guys are the same. These two are really made to be reminiscent of the face of the Screaming Werewolf, that lovely Academy Award winning movie that came out. <laughs> back in the day uh, and this one I think is meant to be more uh, beyond generic uh, not that it's generic but uh, you know it's just it's just a werewolf there's not it's not tied to a movie um, or anything it's just a cool werewolf figure which is cool but what makes it even awesomer is it awesomer is the fact that it's got uh, a flocked body um, too cool I think Migo is definitely hitting out of the park guys and stuff like this is what I'm loving is the fact that you have figures that Migo is doing rather that are not tied to anything. Even though this is tied to a movie, this movie did not do well, folks. I mean, I don't know how many people actually have seen the movie, but it's it's not a B movie, it's like an F movie. It's horrible, horrible good crap. I'm telling you, you gotta watch it if you have not seen The Face of Screaming Werewolf. But seeing Mego make figures uh, that are generic or just, um, I don't know, almost like knockoff type stuff. You know, it's just so cool that they're doing this thing, doing these things. Uh, I can't wait to see more figures that they do that are not uh, licensed stuff. You know, that's 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 great. But speaking of licensed stuff, they have got a lot of great things coming up. I've I've already talked about them, I'm getting into it, but I love seeing that these three guys here together right now. I'm sure down the road here we'll get a different sculpt from Migo of a werewolf, something maybe a little more sinister. You never know. All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this really weird, strange, no, no, really awesome. Werewolf figure made by Mingo for their Wave 6. And uh, if you have not gotten it, or bought it, rather, <laughs> go online. There's lots of online stores you can buy it from. Uh, Muck Time and Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth and so on and so forth. I'd like you guys to leave links down below to other stores that I have left out. That'd be really cool of you. But if you have any comments you want to leave about this guy or any other werewolf figures, please do down below. And don't forget, guys, don't suck the Have a great day.